Hello Dream Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. Welcome to my channel, whether you're new or coming back. Uh, today I picked the uh, Spirit Junkie Oracle to begin with, so we'll get some positive affirmations for feminines as well as masculines, and then we'll get into the daily reading. And I did receive a few comments that you would like the readings with uh, an extra question or the second question that was like a surprise or we just saw on the spot what it was so that's what i'm gonna do so we'll get an energy check for feminines and masculines and then we'll get uh, a second question and tara will show us what is it we're supposed to know about today and then we'll get answers uh from feminines and masculines respectively and then i'll put some answers between the twins of course so first let's get a card for Divine Feminine's watching. Got two, we got three. Okay, <laughs> we'll take them. Uh, so, and by the way, before I begin, I've got all of the Zodiac sign readings posted on my other channel, mindfulbamboo.com. I do a post later today uh, to give you guys a link just in case, but there is a link, there's a handle in the description box so go ahead check it out all 12 readings are there it's one of the reasons i didn't do a reading here yesterday because i was catching up on everything and the weekend was pretty busy so i was like Whew. but i'm back to normal now the normal schedule that is and um yeah let's carry on and i hope you like the new backdrop by the way it's my september backdrop we have the first card that says taking care of myself is a radical act of love very much a Virgo season energy that we're in right now right self-care uh, checking um, doing inventory on your daily routine how much time do you dedicate to your health and wellness just generally or on the regular basis you know it doesn't necessarily mean like big events or going to see a doctor although it could be maybe you're long overdue for something and you know that then maybe it's time uh, but I'm doing that with my dentist, for example. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, but it can be little things. I already mentioned that, like, it's it can be as much as, uh, you know, I, I want to do less of takeout and cook more, or eat less of uh, processed foods and frozen dinners and make something healthier more often. And yeah, maybe I can do that, like, all the time right now but i want to switch from doing that twice a week to like four or five times a week right and that's already a big deal or it can be i want to wake up an hour earlier and go to bed an hour earlier because that will suit better to my like natural schedule right that i'm following it will make um my body like kind of follow more intuitively what it's supposed to do and not force myself into something whether it's in the morning or in the evening, right? Like it can be any of those things. Um, drink less of coffee or hydrate more. I have a video on my channel and a blog article about hydration and how deep that goes into your spiritual life, right? So give yourself that love. My happiness is a direct reflection of how quickly I can shift my perceptions from fear to love. And it could be related actually to what I was just talking about, right? Because you could be thinking that uh, you could have a fear that, I don't know, if I start cooking more for myself, I will not have time for ABC, like something else that I'm doing, right? Or uh, it's going to cost more or I'll, like it's going to be more pressure from my family to keep doing that all the time if I do it, you know, here and there, something along those lines, right? Like. It can be connected to certain fear. I don't want to go to the dentist because I don't know how bad, well, I'm afraid to hear how bad it's going to be. Something along those lines, right? It can be anything else, of course, but since we're talking about it, I feel like these things are connected for a lot of you, that you may not necessarily be making the necessary shifts because you do have that fear. But don't do it out of fear, or, well, no, that's a, the other point. Don't do it out of fear that if I don't do it, um, you know xyz like the bad stuff is gonna happen do it because you love yourself and you understand that's the right thing to do that's how you express love to yourself to your body to your mind to your soul that's exactly the right way right do it because you're 
want to thank your body and your mind and your soul for getting you here, for being through so much, rather than being afraid that if I don't do this now, then, you know, maybe a month later, you know, the consequences will be severe. I don't know, I don't go to the dentist, then I'll have a lot of pain or something along those lines, right? And finally, every cell in my body, again, body work, is conscious and communicates with each positive thought I have. Yeah, on top of it, positive thinking, I already mentioned being grateful to your body, to your mind, to your, your soul, yourself generally, right? Um, anything else where you feel like you can use more positive thinking these days, that's exactly what you should start with. Don't put it off, do it today. Change at least one thought that is fearful into something more positive and you'll see changes on many levels, including from like literally your physical body standpoint. For masculines, we have two cards. Instead of taking on the fear of others, I reflect love. Yeah, so this is about how other people are coming at you, are treating you, and when they are coming with their fears, which should, can look very different, like can be aggression, can be jealousy, um, can be putting you in guilt and shame, <sighs> trying to, or being a, arrogant right like all of those things are fear like whatever people however they treat you out of fear you reflect love you don't stoop to their level and you don't uh fire back with similar emotion or reaction right you are uh being you're showing compassion and kindness and at the very least if you see that you know it's pretty serious they're like down the rabbit hole there walk away right like find your safe space have those boundaries if you have to finish some sort of conversation, business, whatever it is with this person, do that. But do not build long-term partnerships with people in this energy. If this is temporary and they will get to a better place and you are supposed to be partnering on something together going forward, they'll be back. But for now, if that's the way they approach it, you're out. The other one, I'm willing to see my sameness with others. This opens my awareness to oneness. Yeah, it's part of how you show compassion to people who are in this energy. Because in the moment, a lot of times we feel hurt, we feel offended, we feel angry, right? And it's like, how can you possibly say that? Or like, this is such a terrible thing to do. But then we feel oneness, we find ways to see that reflection to what maybe we would have done five years ago right or maybe we wouldn't do this but we could still do xyz something unhealthy right or try to manipulate if we were in the same situation right feeling that oneness seeing that oneness really helps um answering with love and not fear in situations like that okay let's get to tarot i've got the sophia charles deck for the main uh his main cards and then we'll have uh, the light seers to clarify. So as, as last time I'll pull five cards for general energy, feminine, masculine, then the second question and answer to that question. Thank you. Okay, bottom of the deck here, science. This is six of swords in this deck, but this is also like the planetary movements. It's reminding us about the retrogrades, um, current and past, a lot of uh, a lot of those planetary transits are impacting us big time. So do not try to over explain everything that's going on with you to be too much in your thoughts. Um, like, why is it happening? Why is it coming up now? Right? Like, don't do that too much. And actually, although this is the swords card, it's six of swords, so it's supposed you're supposed to put those thoughts to ease, all those swords, right? Like to get into calm waters, to be in a safe harbor, right? And like get yourself to that place of balance and safety. That's the only energy where you would be able to assess the situation wisely to give the correct explanation without uh, being stressed about it and without um, giving it more than what it's supposed to mean you know like sometimes certain events can just drive us crazy 
if we let our brain go with it, run with it, right? So it's important not to get into that space. Okay, let's get clarifiers and then let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, bottom of the deck here, the emperor. Yeah, taking control of those thoughts and emotions running around. And it doesn't mean neglect them, but not letting them run the show for you, not letting them ruin uh, things that you've been building and not letting them drive yourself crazy, main thing. <sighs> That's that Aries North node, by the way. That's the Emperor energy, where it's reminding you about your wants and needs, about that self-care, about, you know, seeing if there is any value in a specific situation or relationship for you. Like, very pragmatically, very objectively. If there is, excellent. Keep working within that situation within that dynamic if you don't see it if you're just trying to be nice or you know the other person really needs you so you're trying to tolerate that's not gonna go no aries and north node is not gonna let you do that for much longer if you try to hold on to those uh behaviors it will result in more and more tower moments so for the feminine energy we have Six of Pentacles, clarified by Eight of Swords, not the six, this is Pentacles now, right? So this is like, again, being in your head, being worried. This is a big topic for today, I can tell. Whew, about mission, about... For some of you, it's a, more about mission and the exchange of energy. For others, it's about um, connection with DM. And how do we get to the point where it can be equal give and take, and not you like picking up the hard work. So that's another, and, and I'm not surprised that it has eight of, eight of Swords here. It's another mind trap where we feel like, it can feel like that, especially for the feminines, right? That we are the adult ones, we are the conscious ones, we are the forgiving ones, and we just keep witnessing those cycles over and over, or, the, or those masculines just being unreasonable and loving or something, right? It's very important not to take it personally. Understand that it's their space, it's something that they're working through. But I would say from my own experience, don't run away from it either. A, because you're uh, launching the runner tracer dynamic, even if you are the runner in this case. Um, if you want, you're looking for that balance, for that equal give and take. In any and every phase, you can provide something from yourself that is not, is gonna be, is not gonna be a sacrifice, that can be healthy right? I.e. they're working through certain toxic patterns. They are not showing up correctly for you. Uh, if you are in a place, the two of you, where you can communicate, where they listen or they're interested, um, that's good enough for you to be able to make an impact, to be able to highlight to them what is it that is a problem right now, what is not working, what is, it, what is unhealthy. So that they at least know what to work with, so where to run. Or this will help them interpret some other events in their life. Because there is a very good chance that they are already experiencing karma around that theme anyway. They're just not getting what is the big deal or what is the purpose. Why is this BS in my life right now? Right? And you're like, okay, I can see clearly. And as twins, you can be those mirrors like in a kind way to each other where you can say, yeah, I can see you're struggling with this and that and that. So this seems like something to look at, right? You can provide some references or they can just go on and look up some information themselves and figure out in their context right now in their life, how is it playing out and what to do with it. But don't take it onto yourself to, to fix it, to control it in any way. Um, and you don't have to put up with it, for sure. If it's unhealthy, I'm just talking about it for the masculine, the same goes for feminine, walk away from it. Even if it's your DM, if it's your twin, they're gonna be around anyway, they're not living your life forever, but there's a good chance that next time they show up, they're gonna be in a much healthier energy. And that's what you're looking for anyway. Consider it as a little test for yourself, uh, where the spirit is asking you like, are you still going to be putting up with this BS, with this toxic stuff, which you've probably done before, 
either with this person or with other people or both right are you still there are you still willing to put up with this stuff just because you're in love with it you feel this person is so important in your life and the answer is supposed to be no no freaking way right you are supposed to be looking out for yourself that's what your cards were about rewind if you have to watch that back of divine feminines <laughs> Whew, feels like a lengthy reading today, but it's okay. That's what happens when I miss a day. <laughs> too many downloads, too much happening in my head. For the masculines, we have the handman with five of wands. Yeah, definitely they are working through some karma. But the handman energy is allowing them, so they're intuitively feeling like they shouldn't rush with a lot of action. Like, um, at least to, towards this, this connection, right? But maybe in their own life too, like... They're like, okay, I need more information or I need to kind of sit with it longer to understand what what did they what did it mean, that experience, right? There was a lot of chaos, there was some pain for sure, there was some struggle, right? Like why did it show up in my life right now? What am I how am I supposed to interpret that? And there is that kind of sunshine um that's helping and I don't know if that's a sunset or sunrise, but it's not uh like it is you know around the head of the headman by design <laughs> you know it's bringing in illuminations bringing in certain healing that is supposed to be even like even by sitting with it and focusing on the theme and recognizing that that's something unhealthy that i don't want to repeat in my life or I'm, i know i'm supposed to learn from this i just need to figure out what is it Right? That's already bringing in certain healing and um, it's having the universe help divine masculines with it. Hence the major arcana here with the hand man, right? Like the universe is helping them heal in those areas where they experience and struggle. And even if it's a little bit of that help, of that leg up, it's helping them see if they are in a healthier space, it's helping them see why is this unhealthy or how they're supposed to act in this case. What's the second question? We have the Empress with Queen of Cups. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so the way I'm going to interpret this, because this is going to be for both twins, it's going to be how do we bring in the productivity and efficiency into this connection, right? It's about the connections, how the twins see it. And the Empress is the ultimate uh, symbol of fertility, of um, the creation, of birthing something, right? It can be mission, it can be a relationship and something that is emotionally balanced, right? How do we get into space to be able to create together, whether it's as friends, as business partners or as in a love relationship, right? What is it that we can do now to switch into that loving mode of wanting to do something wonderful together rather than just keep like pulling and pushing and uh, facing like different sides of the energetic entanglement. Ooh, for feminines, it's four of cups clarified by 10 of cups. It's about using the opportunity at hand. It's about focusing on what makes you emotionally fulfilled and happy, right? Not um, ignoring that sign, right? Like it, it may seem like, I don't know, I like, what is it? But something creative, right? Like, I don't know. I like dancing before I go to bed <laughs> or singing a song as the first thing in the morning. It may seem something simple that does not necessarily um, connect for you in your head with how can I be productive or creative with my masculine, right? It may be like, this is like, it seems so far-fetched, <laughs> but if as long as it's bringing you uh, emotional fulfillment, it's adding the joy naturally, take it, right? Or you get an opportunity, like a more vivid example, you get an opportunity to go to a concert uh, with a friend. A friend is hitting you up, you're like, yeah, I got these tickets, let's go. And you're like, oh, I got so much on my plate right now. Go, do it. That's the opportunity that the universe is presenting you to bring in more emotional fulfillment because that's going to be the energy, that's going to be the place where you will be um vibing you know into creativity and into doing something focusing on the positivity and focusing on 
what can we build rather than why are they so unloving to me like in their behavior for the masculines we have five of swords clarified by ace of pentacles in this deck five of swords is about inner child work so i'm really glad actually that masculines have that and i've been sensing that and seeing that in cards lately maybe the last couple of weeks that they are actually turning into inner work into shadow work into inner child work whichever way you want to call it it's all different ways to look at the same kind of issue at hand and the the reason they are there because they do want to have this new beginning in the physical in this connection they may not necessarily know what it is exactly for them or how important it's going to be right how much is it how fruitful is it going to be right on many levels but they definitely want that and they understand that right now they're not in a good space for it right like they've made some mistakes they were afraid in certain ways right again this is like this um fear that needs to be handled with love and this is this card is kind of talking about other people but guess what it works the same way for yourself it's a relationship with yourself and again it's this aries and north node how loving are you towards yourself are you making loving choices in your own life and that is definitely connected to your inner child if you don't know what it means where to start i have an article about it in my blog uh, and of course you can google there is so much of it going on i would actually google inner child work a because that's exactly what we saw here and b because it helps especially if you're new to it it helps to understand the concept because whichever way you're gonna be approaching it in the future it's still important to remember the origins of it right and how it works for us and how can we visualize that work as adults okay messages from dms to dfs Woo. i'm a very jealous person and i feel the same way <laughs> I feel the same way I think it's pretty self-explanatory, so feminine. So if you were wondering, it looks like you had that struggle and overthinking. Uh, why is it not equal give and take and about how they feel? Why do they act this way? They feel the same way. If you were doubting that for a moment, this is your confirmation. This is the two of cups energy, right? But it may not look like that right now. And guess what? Part of it be could be connected to what you're going through, to what you're working with, right? And another part of it just for info is that yes they're jealous and they could be jealous not just necessarily because you are they know that you're dating someone else maybe for some of you but it could even be that you are spending time on something else rather than them and spending time on them right maybe you've just gone quiet and you're not giving them time and attention and that could already feel like jealousy that vibration you know it can be anything like that but it comes from their fears so again, this is a big, big reminder in caps that do not take it personal. It's not you. Keep focusing on your joy. Keep creating, following that creativity in your space and creating what makes you, doing what makes you happy. Even if it doesn't seem too productive today, do what feels good, what feels right. And you'll be amazed how quickly you'll get ideas on how to be more productive or more of service or whatever it is that you're you know looking for tomorrow a week from now a month from now and that will translate into your connection with your dm as well messages from feminines to masculines okay a little bit more messages here <clears throat> i'm too afraid to talk to you they're waiting for you I hope you'll wait for me. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if you care. Yeah, there's a little bit of that disconnect. That's that eight of swords that we just saw. Um, certain program that the mind is playing on divine feminines because DMs are not showing up correctly. They uh, have hurt their feelings in some way and that's causing this kind of tear. And that's kind of like, I'm too afraid to talk to you the same. Like they don't want to hear more of the same old stuff you know so they prefer not to talk at this time uh but also they're saying oh, it was they i actually feel like this is about this new incredible opportunities like mm, the stuff you can be doing that we can be doing as twins right like 
all those great ventures, adventures are waiting for you. You know, like, um, there's so much of exciting stuff that's going to be happening. And also they're saying that, you know, this is the recognition actually that there is some stuff that they're closing up, the feminine say me, um, in the karmic life, right? Or they're figuring things out. It's almost like that card, I don't have all the answers, right? Like, I hope you'll wait for me because right now I don't have all the answers. I want to do better. I want us to be in a better space. But right now, I don't necessarily know how to make that happen. So I uh, hope you'll wait for me. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for being with me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye, everyone.